With the most recent episode of Yellow Jackets being released, episode 3, and it concluding with it looking as though dark things were to come, and the one for blood being put front and center, the trailer for episode 4 of the show titled Old Wounds has just been released, and it looks as though it's going to be as interesting as the previous three installments. So with that, let's jump into the trailer, break it down, and I'll also give my theories and predictions on what I think could happen next. So let's get into it. Here is Yellow Jacket Season 2 Episode 4 trailer explained. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. The trailer for the next episode began with dialogue being spoken from Vanessa towards Ty. It looked as though it was also intertwined with the scene from Episode 3 of the show, where we saw that Ty was sleepwalking and following the man with no eyes, but the dialogue was taken from a conversation from the pair after it happened. The dialogue that was spoken was, there is something deep inside of you that's connected to all of this, with it cutting to the symbol that always appears. It's definitely something that Ty is very much connected with. You could even argue more so than what Lottie is. The next shot that we had was a scene taken from the present day where Lottie looked as though she was speaking with a psychiatrist of some kind and she mentioned how she'd started having her visions again and that she needed them to stop. This is what we saw occurring at the end of the most recent episode of the show, where the blood was apparent, the bees were all dead and upside down, and the words Il Vud de Sung, aka He Wants Blood, were being spoken. So I imagine we're most likely going to be seeing Lottie heading on a bit of a downward spiral during the next episode where her visions start to return. This was intertwined with a clip of what also looked like her carrying out some kind of ritual due to her drawing blood. One of the more interesting parts about this scene though was the fact that it looked as though it incorporated something that was within the title sequence of the show. As her line was being spoken, we saw what I'm going to imagine is Lottie looking at a Queen of Hearts with its eyes completely scratched out. When we took a look at the title sequence prior to the card being looked at, there was a note that said, I'm grateful for my friends. So there are a variety of different things that this could mean. Could this be the issuing of the person who became the Anther Queen and that card and note was there as a reminder that they need to appreciate their friends who they're there with? However, slightly later on, there was a shot of the Queen of Diamonds being burned. So the Queen of Hearts must hold some significance when compared to the other suits, something I imagine is going to be delved into more in the next episode. This is why I believe the episode is going to be titled Old Wounds, because Lottie getting her visions again is going to be something that is most likely going to cause old wounds to be reopened and the scars to not have faded. The next shot that we had in the trailer was of Misty and Walter looking as though they were going to be partaking in the road trip that Walter offered her to go on, following the discovery of where the credit card from somebody in Lottie's cult was from. So it seems as though a relationship and a strong connection is something that is certainly brewing and developing between the pair of them. The more time they're spending together, the more I think we'll see Misty form a solid relationship, which is something that I think we're going to see more of as the season goes on. At least, I hope we do. There was a small bit of humour in that conversation as well, where we saw that Walter mentioned that he didn't care that Misty was a yellow jacket because it was almost 30 years ago, to which she responded with more like 25 years ago. Then we moved back to one of the main plots in the present day, which had Callie saying to her mother Shauna that she was so over secrets. Callie wants to know what's going on, and with her finding the burned piece of Adam's ID and her wanting to find answers, we could see her accidentally push things too far. Judging by the small moment that we had in the trailer, it did seem as though it was one where I feel as though Shauna may respect Callie for being the adult that she actually is. With the agent that's undercover also looking as though they're going to be getting closer to Callie, it does make me wonder if she's going to be confiding in him more as time goes on. This was intertwined with a shot of Shauna and Jeff looking like they were deeply engrossed in a conversation. Jeff is somebody who's stuck within his own mind and is mourning his past self, and the fact that he became somebody that he views as boring, and it feels like he's overcompensating in other ways in his life to make up for it, or at least to mask the person that he actually is. For example, like when he swung a left and tried to go on the road trip, and it all went wrong. And also when he approached Kevin in the gym in the most recent episode. So I do wonder if there's going to be an argument over the fact that he spoke with Kevin, something which Shauna may not have wanted him to do. It did look as though she was rolling her eyes, so differences may be brought to the forefront again. One thing that I thought was particularly interesting was the fact that when the word secrets was spoken in the trailer, it cut to a shot that was of Natalie and Lottie in the present day. 
Natalie was lurking around a corner, and we had Lottie looking as though she was looking for something or somebody. Could this be in the quarters that Natalie found in episode 3? The final piece of dialogue that we had in the trailer was over all of the final shots that we had, which was a bunch that occurred in quick succession. The line was, I don't understand why you won't see what's right in front of you. This looked like it was merged with a shot of Lottie who was in an environment that it feels as though we've not seen before. An environment that I believe is part of a hallucination that the younger version of Lottie will be having, as it seemed as though she was in the clothing and layers that she was in when she was stranded, yet the environment had electricity and looked warm and had different levels to it. It looked like we also had a shot of Ma seeming as though she was in some kind of alternative state. Within episode 3, she asked the room if anybody could hear dripping, to which nobody else said that they could, so she could be in a completely different mental state to her fellow Yellow Jackets. After this, we then had a shot of Natalie on the floor being held up by Travis, and the rest of the group were surrounding her, so I feel this could represent many different things. Within episode 3 of the show, we saw that she was hallucinating when she saw the moose that was present by the plane. So this could be highlighting that her mental state may not be as stable as what we thought it was, so she could be hallucinating in the scene in the trailer and breaking down. But judging by the water droplets that were appearing, I believe that she most likely fell through the surface which could be thin ice, and Travis brought her back up and saved her. Then we got one of the most important things in the entirety of the trailer, and that was that we saw Ty and Vanessa both reuniting in the present day. It seems as though Vanessa is going to be working or running a store, and with it looking like Vanessa was comforting Ty in the main trailer for season 2, I believe we're going to see them reignite the connection that they had. With Ty's visions coming back in the present day and her quite literally being on her own, I believe we're going to see Vanessa being the person that's going to help her due to the aid that she used to give her in the past. Then, the final thing that we saw was Lottie going down into an underground tunnel that we'd never seen before. Lottie is full of secrets, and in the shot it seemed as though there was a case that was opened where there was a bright yellow jacket, and on it there was a red blood stain. so I'm interested to see what that's going to be about. I feel we're going to see a lot of Lottie in the next episode, and I hope that we do, because I feel like she's the individual that holds a lot of the answers. And even if she doesn't spill them, she's the person who can hopefully lead the way. I'm looking forward to seeing what exactly is going to happen. So, there you have it. Yellow Jacket Season 2 Episode 4 Trailer Explained. If you want to see more videos such as Endings Explained, Theories and Predictions, and Character Breakdowns, then click on the I button. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. If you'd like to give me a show or movie that you'd like me to review, then head over to my Twitter, at brainpilot underscore, and tweet me what show or movie you'd like me to review next. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my letterboxed profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. What do you think is going to happen next? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.